there and welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review. It took a long time for me to pull the trigger on this new version of the Delike New Moon. In fact, it was only when Chris Repsayek told me that the pen was long enough and did actually post that I bought it. Once bitten, twice shy, as they say. And I told you to bite me! <laughs> I did a video where I named the worst pen experiences I had had in 2019 and this pen, the Delike New Moon 3, was on that list. I wasn't saying it was one of the worst pens of 2019. I was saying it was one of the worst experiences for me. <laughs> this pen writes well enough, but it won't post and it's too short to write with unposted. So when another Delike New Moon was released, I was dubious. However, Delike made this one out of a delicious acrylic resin. So here it is. If this new New Moon is an improvement over the New Moon 3. I can't wait to see the Old Man 3 coming soon. So let's compare the old New Moon with the new New Moon right now. So you've heard the saying, we live in interesting times. Well, yeah, we do live in interesting times now. And in tiny little ways, it's uh, fascinating how you can order something and it takes months and months and months to get to you. And then you can order something else and bang, it's there in your mailbox almost overnight. And they come from the same place. Yeah, very interesting. And then the tracking on these things makes it even more interesting because no matter how well you track it, it says it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. and this package here was in British Columbia just yesterday and there was no way it was coming to my mailbox today so I was not expecting anything and guess what I've got a package and I had to really sort of look up the number on this to find out what it was because there are a number of things that are in line ahead of this one so let's open it up and find out Maybe it came quickly because it didn't have any bubble pack. But here we are. It looks like a Delike, even though it doesn't say Delike anywhere. Oh, they covered it up. And there we are. This is the Delike New Moon. Not to be confused with the Moon Man. Uh, not to be confused with the Delike New Moon 3 or the New Moon 2. This is a Delike New Moon. So we seem to be regressing as you know, they started with new moon three and then I saw new moon two and now it's just the new moon. And as they regress in numbers, they get bigger in size. I was hesitant to buy this one and I've got to thank Chris Rapsaic, uh, Chris Rap 52 uh, for uh, basically authorizing this purchase because I, <laughs> I did not want to buy this because I didn't know, first of all, whether it would post and whether it would be long enough in my hand to write with because I have this one. This made my top 10 list of the worst pens of 2019 for me. My top uh, 10 disappointments. And that's because this pen is the New Moon 3. It's too short to write with, unposted, and it won't post. And so it's useless and plus the metal section made it useless to me so when this pen came out in a couple of different colors i think four different colors i was intrigued and i thought oh it's gonna have the same problem as this one uh, but this one i'm told by chris posts so we shall see Wait for it. <laughs> and then i'll be back with um, a full review so I have to start by talking about the confusions with Chinese pens, manufacturers, and the names. I've had a few viewers and friends let me know that the glass dip pen I recently reviewed, the Delike glass dip pen, also comes in a Moonman box and with Moonman nibs and under the brand name Moonman. I know I've seen a lot of Etsy and eBay vendors mix these two companies. And you'll see a Delike New Moon this and a Moon Man Delike that for sale. According to a Chinese colleague on the Fountain Pen Network, the two companies are indeed separate, 
and it is the vendors that are either deliberately mixing things up or just making confusing errors. So until further notice, Moonman and Delike are different companies. It must be because the moon figures prominently in Chinese culture. I know cats are prominent in Chinese culture, so perhaps we'll see a Delike Moonman moon cat in the future. Who knows? As I mentioned in the introduction, last year I reviewed this, Delike New Moon 3. One of the things that makes buying pens online a challenge is that the photos never give you any sense of scale. Measurements help, but now that I see these two pens together, it is really clear that the new New Moon is a good deal larger. I also mentioned in the introduction that this acrylic resin is really delicious looking. It comes in a couple of other colors as well, but this color is called Rose. It was attractive in the photos, but up close, it is just gorgeous. It immediately reminded me of an Edith Head designed dress that Eva Marie Saint wore in my favorite Alfred Hitchcock film, North by Northwest. Saint's character, Eve Kendall, is in a room in the Chicago Ritz Hotel with Roger Thornhill, played by Cary Grant. You're my little helper, aren't you? Thank you. To us. To a long and lasting friendship. Meaning, from now on, I'm not going to let you out of my sight, sweetheart. I'm afraid you'll have to. Oh, no. I do have plans of my own, you know. And you do have problems. Well, that wouldn't it be nice if my problems and your plans were somehow connected. The combinations of Edith Head's incredible red dress and the dove gray of the hotel room and Grant's suit, plus the Eastern style wallpaper designs, make this one of the most exquisitely designed scenes in film, in my opinion. Tell me, what do you think? What I want to do today is look at the parts and features of this pen, do some size comparisons, show some measurements, and provide a writing sample. After the writing sample, I'll discuss what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. Overall, we can see one of the features I really like about this pen. The top finial, the cap, the barrel, the end finial, and the section all have this gorgeous acrylic. The top finial is slightly domed, and then we see a chrome ring, which holds a nicely shaped and usable clip. In place, it's fairly springy and very usable. The cap tapers up until we get to a wide tapered chrome band that has Delike and New Moon embossed into the ring. The taper in the cap ring brings us down to a small step to the barrel and the barrel tapers up to where it bulges in the middle about here and then tapers back down to another chrome ring and the end finial which is also slightly domed like the one on the cap. The cap unscrews with about two and three quarters, almost three turns. It's quite a bit actually. And it reveals a metal section with the acrylic covering on it. Two chrome rings, one towards the number five size nib in extra fine. Let's look closer at this nib. It has Delike Super Quality EF for extra fine and some scroll work engraved into it. And there is the plastic feed. The entire feed and nib are friction fit inside a collar assembly, which unscrews from the section, making it easy to swap nibs. And if we look closer at this nib, we'll see that it is an upturned Mini Fude or Waverly style nib, which will actually change its writing characteristics from what you could think would be an extra fine line. When I bought this, I figured I might have to replace the number five nib with a fine or medium, as extra fines are too thin for me. But that being a mini fude changes its writing characteristics, as we shall see. The barrel unscrews from the section. You can see there that that is a metal section. And the acrylic has been applied to the metal section. And there is a standard international converter, which is actually one of your upscale kind of with the reinforcement ring on there which is very nice but this bit is a bit wobbly 
put the pen together and I drop it or move it about, it tends to rattle. I thought maybe it was the clip at first, but it is that converter, uh, the piston part handle of the converter that is bouncing around inside there. It's causing that noise. It's a bit annoying. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? The cat posts. It posts okay, not exactly securely. It kind of wobbles on there a little bit. So if you knock it, it might come off, but it does post. And even unposted, the pen is plenty long enough uh, to write with. When posted, that cap doesn't weigh a lot. So while it does change the balance a little bit, it doesn't back weight it at all. The section is comfortable, if a bit small. I find my thumb rests on these threads right here. And the threads aren't sharp, but after writing for a significant amount of time, it leaves grooves in my thumb, which is slightly uncomfortable. Groovy, baby. So I mentioned there was a cap liner in there, but I am mistaken as I put a light on there. That is not a cap liner at all. So that might be a concern. Now let's look at some size comparisons. Okay, here we are with the Delight New Moon. And here is the Delight New Moon 3 its predecessor. Yeah, I know I don't get it either. I don't get it. 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 And with a Pilot Metropolitan, a Faber-Castell Loom, and a Parker Sonnet. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. Well, some of them were posted. In truth, that cap on the New Moon 3 does go on there, but it doesn't stay on in any usable way. So I say it doesn't post. And now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. We're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Claire Fontaine 90 GSM paper, and this is the Delike New Moon. And it has a fine steel nib. Let's check the wetness. It's relatively wet and this is very smooth. I'm uh, actually astonished at how smooth this is. This might have to do with the fact that it is a mini food A or a Waverly style knit but it's very very nice and the ink today is Hiroshizuku Yamabudo here's the test card for Yamabudo alongside some Robert Oster Muddy Dragon and some Noodler's Widowmaker. Even though I like the Yamabudo's Hiroshizuku bottle, I put all my Yamabudo in this Pen BBS bottle that I got with my 492. Beautiful. The Year of the Rat. And as to line variation, it's a very stiff nib. So there's no line variation by pressure, but because it is a mini fude, it's hardly perceptible, but it is slightly thicker on the horizontal strokes than it is on the verticals. And our writing sample
and reverse writing well I'm not even gonna attempt that because it's so scratchy it actually writes on the downstrokes very very thin but on the upstrokes it's tearing the paper and some quick writing very very nice very quick it's keeping up very nicely and the line feels more like a fine oh i made a mistake up here it, fe it feels so much like a fine it's not an fine it's an ef but the line it produces is very much a a fine line it feels very very similar to the pen bbs fine so what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? First, this is a great upgrade to the Delight New Moon 3. It is so great that they should have named it the New Moon 4. Then we know this was an upgrade of that. Or at least they could have called it the New Moon 3.6 Release 25794 Beta 2. Or Shrill Petrol with the new additive GLC 9424075. After 6 p.m. 9424047. The pen posts, finally this one doesn't this pen doesn't have a metal section like this one does it's not so slick as the as the first version was and the pen is comfortable to write with both posted and unposted and the nib is smooth and wet and that's terrific for an extra fine as I say I made the mistake I thought it was a fine so these are all great pluses there are a few things I'm not fond of the short section here uh, even though it is an improvement over the slick metal version these threads do get annoying after a while I use this pen to make notes on a number of items on a list that I was working on and was having to cap and uncap over and over for more than an hour two and a half turns or two and three quarter turns one two Three, almost three turns doesn't seem like a lot but you don't uncap a pen like that you tend to grab it and turn it this way with the barrel and every time you turn it that's a half turn so to uncap this pen is one two three four five six one two three four five so five and six turns every time one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That gets really, really tiresome. Overall, this is a terrific pen that writes nicely and is beautiful to look at for a very reasonable price. I'll put the sale up here on the screen so you can see. Very reasonable price for a, a beautiful pen, beautiful acrylic, and a lovely writing nib. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote.